Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death War uh, no, World of Warcraft uh, Hardcore on the official server Stitches. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Frost Mage uh, playthrough where we're trying to level the Frost Mage to maximum level and maybe beyond that uh, without dying of course. Uh, so we are done in the Western Plaguelands and we're on our way to the Eastern Plaguelands. I just want to highlight, I uh, had the pleasure of getting the Zulgarup and the Warchief Blessing, so global buffs are available. Got some stamina, got some Gift of the Wild on top of it, and we're currently rocking 3,700 hit points, which is quite a lot. A world buffed uh, Saiken uh, going into the Western Plaguelands. Let's talk about the Western Plaguelands as well, be uh, because there is quite a bit uh, to talk about. Now, there is a battle for uh, for Blah Blah Shire down here, which is a quest line that culminates in a pretty sizable battle. Uh, that's why you see all of uh, the reds. There is a tunnel over here uh, where a Nerubian Guardian, a level 60 elite, is patrolling. And trust me, that elite is no joke. Uh, has a silence, uh, has massive hits, super fast, and this area is ultra convoluted. Do not go there. Is uh, the like that cave is no fun. Uh, just don't do it. Uh, then there is another elite called. Um, Dusk bat, uh, Duskwing, uh, which is a huge uh, bat that is flying around this area. Uh, I think 60 elite, uh, 58 to 60 elite, something in, uh, in uh, that proximity. Uh, 16,000 hit points and hits for like 500 ish. Uh, so careful with that. There is another elite camp of Scarlet up here and some down uh, here. Uh, and a couple of rares uh, that uh, rare leads that from time to time can spawn up here or up here. So the death zones are pretty accurate in terms of where you wouldn't want to be. And we will need to pay extra attention. It's definitely not a zone for the light uh, hearted or for the faint hearted, which is why I was pushing out that zone as far as I could. I really didn't want to do it, but it is what it is now, so we're going in. Uh, first stop is going to be uh, Tyrion Fordring up here, who will give us three quests, and uh, I'll fast forward that for you guys. Oh, I forgot something. There is another quest called the Corpulent One, and that is a level 60 elite larvae, super hit point heavy i think 35000 hit points something along those lines and not fun uh, to kill unless someone is tanking it for you and hits very very hard so i rather not soloable all right so we uh, come to Tyrion who's a cool dude just got to be a bit careful with him uh, and Tyrion wants us to do quite a few things. Number one, carry in warm meat, plague hound, uh, and plague bats. So it's pretty much grind down the wildlife, and that's exactly what we're going to do. For starters, uh, I am almost thinking about whether or not I want to take uh, mage armor for that. Anyways, uh, I think what we're going to do is I'll just fast forward and give you a couple of uh, updates as and when things are happening because this is the grindiest of grinds uh, as a starter quest, but it's fine. We need to do it anyways. So fast forward for you. All right, we're in the middle of the grinding process. We got around half of the demon dogs. Uh, the worms are a little bit spar more sparse, half of uh, the bats, so I'm trying to just have everything uh, sort of in order. But to be fair, I'm just killing whatever is available. And trying to not run into dust, uh, dust queen. I did double check the troll route for that bat and figured out uh, that my stats that I recollected uh, weren't as far off as I thought. 
Uh, so both damage and hit points were pretty much on the spot. What is uh, different though is I learned there can be multiple uh, dusk bats at the same time. So it's not per se a name. Or let's say not a unique one. Name. Yes, you may. And that's a bit threatening uh, to to think about. Just how multiples of uh, those guys could become a problem. However, he is large enough, or they are large enough to easily spot him out. So, um, unless I'm completely sleeping, I should be able to see these guys long before they uh, approach our situation, our position. I'm clearing really everything that I can. Mainly to make sure that we're not getting any form of ads. Alright, grinding on. Good, we're a little bit further in the quest now. We've successfully finished uh, the bats. And we're 15 out of 20 from the grunts. Plus, we got quite a few of the worms. And I'm tempted to get a bit more uh, herbalism stuff. So I'll get that. Well, it's, we are fast forwarding. In the meantime, we are moving up right here and are starting a couple of further quests. But it matters, like the whole area is now completely and utterly clustered with uh, quest objectives. But that's okay, at least we have something to do. The only thing that I don't like about the Eastern Plaguelands is the Eastern Plaguelands. But yeah, that's a me problem and not a zone problem. Uh, they certainly have enough quests here. And before Silithus uh, came around, which I think uh, came with AQ 20, AQ 40, and then the preparation for the Burning Crusade, uh, before Silithus came around, this year was uh, the end game zone. Like all of uh, the normal dungeons, besides, of course, raiding content, uh, were in this zone. and naturally all of uh, the strong 60 elites long quests uh, for instance uh, the epic of the priests is here so yeah plenty of uh, stuff to do and with our dawn uh, being a faction that also has a lot of quests for reputation there was never like a shortage of content my criticism with the region is i think they could have gotten the same aesthetic feel um, with way more ability to just look uh, around the landscape it's the same problem with ashara versus fellwood um, that would simply be better because you can look through, uh, look around without being continuously cluttered in trees. And specifically when you're having roaming enemies, I personally think that's not a very good design decision to then make the trees so that they are blocking vision entirely. You could make them transparent, that would have cost really zero effort in order to do that. And yeah, non-transparent trees plus level 60 elite enemies that are roaming. That's a nasty combination uh, together. It's just the continuation of uh, the Western Plaguelands, the haha got you phenomena, where the game is just trying to catch you off guard. And in a hardcore setting, 
That is broken. Anyways, continue to grind. Oh, before I forget, that is a last point of criticism. I think uh, the designers at this point in the game were running out of time when they originally designed the quests and they became quite unapologetic in just how they proceeded uh, with the quests i mean at the beginning of the quest uh, at the beginning of the game it's killed seven or five of these seven of these blah 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 here uh, the first three quests that we're doing is kill 30 bats 20 of these uh, play counts and collect 15 of uh, the meat which has a 50% uh, drop chance. So by definition, you're looking at 80 enemies uh, that you are killing and that does not take into consideration the duplets and triplets um, uh, when you are done uh, with some of uh, the, the first ones and you just need to continue killing the others. So um, I think it's quite rich um, or quite, uh, quite poor um, quest design actually. Uh, to expect the player to start the zone by just grinding down 80 mobs. But that is uh, how the designers thought that it needs to be. That's kind of offsetting for the hundreds of thousands of XP that you need. And instead of making more quests, um, so that you still grind 5 to 7 mobs, but then something happens and then something happens, uh, they decided, you know what? How about we're just letting them grind 80 mobs instead of 8? Like if they grind 10 times more, it's 10 times more uh, the fun and we need to do less quests. Anyway, so those would be my main points of criticism why I don't really like uh, the Eastern Plaguelands or Silithus uh, in this uh, regard. Both of the uh, zones are ultra dangerous for the wrong reasons and quite tedious. Good, that was the last one. We just finished the first three collection quests. Off we go and let's hand them in. All right, demon dogs. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we need to kill further demon dogs. I see. Because 80 enemies would be too little. Uh, we need to kill plague hounds and we need to kill frenzied plague hounds, which are all over here. There's, by the way, uh, the flight path over here, and that's where we should be now. So let's move over there. Alright, so on our way back. Let's say not back, but on the way to the flight path. We uh, need to cross the town. And uh, it just so happened that there is a quest. A quest with a mortar where we need to collect uh, seven of these tissues here in just a very short amount of time. Ten minutes. Uh, I grinded it down and got the tissues. The problem is... I also found out that there's a level 60 lead Scarlet Crusader uh, going absolute apeshit in the middle of that town. So we're going to uh, need to find a different way around. We killed quite a few uh, enemies actually. And overall, uh, not bad, but yeah, I cannot uh, fight against a level 60 lead. So we're going to go around the north. Good, we finally made it to the Argent Dawn outpost. Careful here. Got a new flight path, which is good. Um, that's a decent quest as well. And we have plenty to trade in. Gotta be careful with Flight Master there. They should not attack if I'm standing far enough away. Archivist can't do that.
defenders of Darrowshire. Yes, we can do that. Lots of dungeon quests now. Fair enough. Good, and we got another quest here. Let's ask him for a lot. Very good. Just trying to see. Yeah, there should be a vendor here with a bare necessities. Fantastic. Let me just cook some food. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, we're even a couple of quests in here, but those might already be in these. Yeah, House of the Holy. Yeah, this is endgame content 101, but not leveling content. Yeah, we can certainly. We can certainly get that uh, during the leveling, uh, uh, during the uh, dungeon nearing process, if we're running into uh, into a dungeon group. But yeah, I mean, look, bolstering our defenses not going to help really. Double checking. I don't think that we can or should do that. No, that's a PvP one. Would flag us for PvP. And yeah, we would be dead, likely. Anyway, so a couple of things that we will need to do. Uh, we will need to slay ghouls and uh, free their spirits uh, at the place that I've been. Uh, just recently been there. Plague hounds and noxious spirits. We get that. Uh, got a lot of ghosts that we can slay up here, so that's easy peasy, much easier than here. Then uh, at some point we can trade back uh, the quest here and get a follow-up. Uh, we do have a quest line here, so that would make uh, sense. Um, that's a little neat quest line down there. Uh, we do have termites lots and lots of termites that we can place there and yeah i think some of the stuff we'll need to kill on this side of uh, the map which is the more dangerous one specifically up here isn't uh, that safe but yeah i think that's going to happen um potentially when I um, play the next time. For now, I will need to uh, call it a day, but I'll still continue the same episode because we do have some more playtime. So uh, let me just relog and for you, no time will pass. All right, time to uh, re or continue our uh, little adventure here. It's interesting because uh, we are seeing like what caravans fight against uh, these guys okay don't want to get involved we are instead going to go up here and next up I'm going to kill a lot of uh, these ghouls, uh, free uh, Darrowshire uh, spirits that they host, and that will be it. That's uh, the next quest. I think uh, 
that will be 50 of these bad boys. So we get some loot. And Spirit Street. And yeah, so that's quite a lot. Still not getting involved in that. All right, fast forward for you guys. You know, it's the <coughs> age old rabbit hole. You start out with grinding a few ghouls and then you realize, you know what, there's that one dog that I also need. And then it transitions into plague beds. And now we're farming that entire section. Essentially everything that uh, moves or crawls is currently, uh, yeah, good to, uh, good to go for us. So we're trying uh, to do multiple quests at once. Unfortunately, like I mentioned before, uh, the quests here are quite grindy, so that's what to expect. I'll fast forward it for you guys. All right, <clears throat> yet another leveling update. We <laughs> have transitioned all the way to the north, killing those monstrous plague beds and uh, these frenzied hounds. Got about half of them, a little bit more uh, than that done. Mind you, it's another 20 here, uh, five there uh, kind of deal. And we still need more undead, so I'm at it. All right, back in recording, we cleared <coughs> enough of uh, these ghouls and undead so that we can hand it in in Darrowshire. And we also cleared all the beds. So we need to hand in quests here and here and here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Might as well play. This is going to be much riding. And yeah, we're ready to go. So uh, fast forward to the quest trade-ins. All right, we're starting with the Argent Dawn. And we got our first quest trade-in right over here. I'm still a bit careful about the flight master good simply that no follow-up it's a bit disappointing isn't it okay next up down here Pamela's doll now nah, yeah, let's trade in first so we're going to do a blight caller good we are at the Mars time to head in two quests the ranger's lord's behest the one up here we haven't done yet okay and after his talking little playful interaction with his dogs there is still no further quest unless we're getting the third one done that's unfortunate all right let's trade in uh, tiberian's next quest good tiberian oh, uh, Tyrion. sorry let's see demon dogs complete and now let's listen to his redemption story Travel to Undercroft, the southernmost section of the Eastern Plaguelands. And you know what? I decided to spice it up a little bit. Uh, we still have the unfinished business quest right up there. Might as well start pulling. start doing the business now that someone else seems to have been going through here a human warrior uh, it's not a bad start it's actually a pretty good scar uh, start for us line because there might be some scarlet follow-ups along the way. I might be wrong, but who knows. 
Jones. Well, I could know if I were, were to look up the quest, but I... I actually like rediscovering it. Okay, so I think it was an escort quest if I'm not completely mistaken. We're just going to ride up there, check it out. If it is a bit too complicated or dangerous, we're just going to bail. Uh, Tyrion wants us to get the uh, Tilarian's hammer. And if I remember correctly, that was, um, there was a grave robber scene. Uh, I don't know how many ads the grave robber had, but in my memory, it was non-trivial. So... Well, that quest might be a little bit uh, more difficult so let's check out uh, this quest here first and then we're going to see the Tiberian quest next human warrior passed by we successfully destroyed all of these guys they do have a couple of checkpoints. All right, let me clear these. I'll fast forward it for you. All right, never mind. Someone is all the way down there outside uh, the com uh, confine. We would need to surf around. I don't even know how to get out of there. And I don't want to get myself in this situation. So screw that quest. We're going to we'll do all forgotten memories. All right, so this is by far the reddest area, so it was not simple. I gotta clear it out, and I think the grave that we're looking for is right over there. And I can already see Mercutio, uh, who is the grave over. And that's like what? The addition of corpses next to him? So I'm expecting that we need to fight four people. A nice agility cloak. That will go a long way. Alright, let me clear everything out. Okay, so is this fence here jumpable? Oh, it is. Can we jump it the other way? Yeah, with a little bit uh, with a little bit practice. Very good. So there's Mercusio. Get full mana. the other three down abuse pathing a little bit
Heal up. Man up. And now it's just him and us. And let's hope the Moss Flayer is not adding. a little bit more difficult fight I remembered it to be not that simple and we can go I think right into the crypt for another quest let me double check all right so I think the outcasts uh, is down here and there seems to be also Hamelia's plea I don't know what that quest is about but what I know is that we're knee deep in a small cave, which is never a good thing. Specifically, not with mobs uh, that can push you down. Let's hope there's not a lot of respawn here. Good, there's the outcast. All we need to do is get this guy down. With full mana it should not be a problem. Uh, yeah, but, so the, uh, these are the little bit more tricky quests in the Eastern Plague Lens. But I am glad that I remember uh, the Grave Robbers correctly. Good. Let's not fight them in the stairs. his head I would not see where exactly the quests the level 60 quest is maybe a follow-up and it's a ghost that we cannot see not a good idea all right time for us to motor And we successfully survived that part. So, trade in, trade in, and then I think it is the end of today's episode. We did a lot, um, it was quite a long one, unfortunately, uh, no further level, but it gets slow now. All right, Tyrion, it is all oh, forgotten memories. Here's the hammer, my man. And he now wants us to get. Uh, his symbol of lost honor, which is the area where we also grinded uh, the undead. So that's fine. That should be doable He's sending us uh, to quite a few places actually We're going to take a short uh, cut because we have a flight point. I don't feel like just walking through all of this And we're going to trade this one in You know what? Uh, this is a good enough ending for today's episode I need to clean up uh, quite a few uh, backpacks here and uh, do uh, just general log logistical stuff. And I think we've done uh, very well for the first time. Got ourselves into a nice position, uh, 58 and a half almost. And I know for a fact that uh, we can uh, maybe get a dungeon. It's just a matter of uh, time, so maybe the next episode, if I am lucky enough, is us getting a dungeon uh, together. 
with that being said thank you so much for watching really appreciate uh, your viewership and uh, have a good day see you in the next episode bye bye